We're going to make a vulcanized rubber mold. We're using a mold frame that's 19 millimeters thick, three quarters of an inch. And mold rubber comes in eighth inch sizes, so we're going to need six of these for this mold. So we're going to cut a V in four of these, and the V is for our sprue former. Uh, it's going to sit on our piece like this and sit in that notch in the rubber. Leave two of the pieces without a cut. Make sure your fingers are nice and clean. Uh, these bits of rubber are pre-cut. You can get them in strips uh, that you cut yourself. Now it doesn't really matter with these whether you put the waffle side or the smooth side up. I prefer to have two smooth sides on the inside. Uh, but when you vulcanize this, it all is going to glue itself together. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Those, the waffle marks will disappear. So you'll end up with two stacks with these V's cut in the middle parts. You're going to just pull your protective paper back and leave about a 10 mil strip at the top. And this is going to act like our hinge. We're going to take two of the little pieces that we cut out of the notches and we're going to stick them next to our sprue former just to act like locators so that uh, when we're making our waxes this will locate the end so that they, they uh, perfectly align themselves. Now at this point we're going to put talc on these. This is unscented talc. Yeah, so just a light, a light coating of talc. And we're going to take these bits off and stick this together. Now we're going to take our protective coating off the outside bits and stick the whole thing in our mold frame. Just make sure that it, it goes in all the way to the bottom. It's sitting on a protective plate and this is just to keep the rubber from sticking to the platens and the platens on the vulcanizer are the things that get hot. So now we're taking our, in this case, a, a little dragonfly that I made that I want to duplicate. Put it in the sprue former, position it inside your mold. I'll zoom in so you can see. So this is just in, in the center. Put, push the rubber down. Put the other protector on the top. And now we're going to put this in the vulcanizer. I've got this sitting on the floor at the moment. I, I haven't had time to uh, mount it. It's at the proper temperature. So just slide that in. And we want this nice and snug. Now, this is at 155 degrees and it wants to bake for seven and a half minutes per layer of rubber. So it's 45 minutes for this one. Set your timer. That's been 45 minutes. Switch off the machine. Wear gloves because this is extremely hot.
And when you take your sandwich out, if you grab the middle and it comes off, it's vulcanized, it's cooked. If it's sticky and you can't get it off, put it back in and cook it a little bit more. Now, put this somewhere where it can cool to room temperature. It takes about an hour. As an alternative, you can drop your mold into a bucket of water. Uh, it, it's not cheating. It actually says on the instructions of the rubber that that's an alternative that you can do. But I'm just going to let mine sit for about an hour. I've put it on the vise, so it's not going to burn anything. When your mold's at room temperature, peel the rubber back and push it out. There's your spree former in the end. Uh, take your scissors and uh, trim this right back to the edge. All the way around, both sides. Now what I do is I clamp one side of this in my vise and I use a set of serrated jaw pliers to grab the other side and it should just peel apart. Uh, if it doesn't start with a little cut from a scalpel and then it'll peel apart and you can see that our master will now just come out and it'll leave a perfect impression of this then we'll squirt wax in this and we'll end up with little wax copies and then we'll make a tree with all of these waxes and then we'll cast this and each one of these in wax will end up being a perfect replica of our master. That's it. Oh, one, one other thing. What you'll need to do is you'll need to take your scalpel and put little lines. So we're going to go from here right to the outside of the mold and we're going to both sides and put talc in those cuts. So spread it, put talc in the cut and let it go back together. If you don't put talc in there the rubber is so self-healing that it'll just close up. If you put talc in there, when you squirt the wax in, the air will be able to exit and the mold will fill completely. So that's it, our, our vulcanized mold. Now, this is the quick and dirty version. If you have something that is more complicated and your parting line, which is the line where your mold comes apart, is critical, uh, you'd want to cut that by hand so that you would know exactly where the line is on your master for, for a minimum cleanup. But for something like this that's just a flat surface, uh, two-dimensional really, it doesn't matter. The parting line will be right on the edge all the way around. Uh, this, this is the quick way to do it.